Praise and let's lift up the name of the Lord. Amen. We want to thank all of you for joining us on War on the Floor. This is our Monday night, 8 p.m. time for prayer. And this is an apostolic time where the demonstration of God's Spirit becomes alive and real. If you are watching with us today, we want you to continue, to continue to bind your faith together with our faith as we bind our faith with your faith to Christ. We pray because we believe. We utter these things into the atmosphere because we believe that Jesus makes the difference. And so his word says, for he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And by his stripes, we are healed. And so we are praying today for every need, every circumstance, whether it be a healing, financial, whether it be a spiritual, emotional, physical, or, or just something that you want. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we think or ask. And we encourage you tonight to join in in prayer with us. So tonight there's a group of people here at the church. Amen. A very limited amount. But we're praying. And we want you to join in prayer with us. Congregation, would you stand to your feet right now and just begin to join with me in praise and worship and enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise and let us invite the presence of the Lord in this house. Heavenly Father, we invite you in this place. We thank you for what you did last night. We thank you for the manifestation, the glory of your spirit, how it touched us, how it ministered to us in such a beautiful, marvelous way. We thank you, O oh Lord, that we felt you. We engaged in you, O oh Lord. We were able to allow ourselves to be lost in the presence and in the love of your glory. For you are sovereign and perfect in all that you would do. And we are careful to give you the praise, careful to lift you up, careful to proclaim Jesus as the King of glory, the King of our lives. Thank you for sparing us. Thank you for preserving us. Thank you for making a way where it's been difficult. Oh, Lord, you have made a way. You've made a way. You've opened up the door, oh, God. And we want to acknowledge you in our lives. We want to acknowledge you that has sustained us. It is you that has allowed us, oh God, and permitted us to be here. And we are careful, God, to recognize you, to acknowledge you. It's you, Jesus. So with our lips, do we lift you up? With our voice, do we proclaim you as righteous? With our hands, do we worship you? And with our attention, do we acknowledge you tonight in the name of Jesus? Thank you, Jesus, God, for your word, God, and for your grace. For the next few moments, let's begin to bind in one mind and one accord, thanking God for all that he has done, God. We worship you, God, and we praise you, and we magnify, God, your holy and precious name, God. Because today, God, we have came to this place, God, to speak to you, God, to talk to you, God, and to let you know, God, that we are thankful for all that you do, God. Because today, God, you woke us up with a purpose, God. Today, God, you saw something inside of us, God, that was worth, Lord, God, another day of life. You saw something inside of each and every one of us, God, that was, Lord, God, another opportunity to be here, God. So I pray, God, that tonight as we come to pray, Lord God, in this place, I pray that tonight the people that are watching online, whether they find themselves in their homes, in their car, or wherever they find themselves, they begin to lift up their hands right now as a sign of surrender and say, thank you, Jesus. Because, God, we're not worthy of nothing that we have. We're not worthy of nothing, God. But it is you, God, that finds us worthy. God, there's many people in this world that today did not wake up. There's many people in this world today, God, that were born without something, God. But you gave it all to me, oh God. The Bible says, let everything that I have breath praise ye the Lord. As long as you have breath, as long as you can breathe, you ought to shout and you ought to thank God. Thank you, Jesus, God. Never let me take life for granted. Never let me take you for granted. Never let me take my blessings for granted, oh God. Because God, even though this pandemic came, Lord God, I still came to worship you. Even though chaos spirals out of control, I am here to worship you because our relationship, God, is with you, oh God. So right now, God, we bind together in one mind and one accord, God, praying, God, 
for our families. God, begin to pray for your families. God, I pray for my father, God. I pray, God, that you strengthen his ministry, God, that you strengthen his calling. I pray, God, for my mother, God, who is lost, God, that you bring her home, oh, God. I pray for my brother, Lord God, and my sister who are also lost, God. I am believing tonight, God. Just because it's Monday does not mean that you can't do a miracle. I believe that right now, God, wherever they find themselves, you can show up, God, and begin to tug their hearts, oh God. Because you are a God of the impossible. And what man sees impossible, you come in and you say, let me take care of it. So we thank you, God. We worship you, God. And we bind together in one mind and one accord, thanking you, God, for all that you do, oh God. Thanking you, God, for the unity that you have brought to this church. Thanking you, God, for the unity that you have brought to this body, God. Thanking you, God, that there are people in this world that has risen up to the occasion and begin to pray and begin to intercede and begin to fight. Because we are all in this together. So let's for the next few moments begin to clap our hands. Begin to say thank you, God. We're not worthy, God. I'm not worthy to even be behind this pulpit, God. But it is you, God, that fought. Even on my bad day, God, I am here to praise you. Even on my worst days, God, I am here to praise you. Even when I don't feel you, God, I'm still going to praise you because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, oh God. So let's continue to bind together in unity and believe that God can do something tonight. We are not just conform just to Sunday night service. Miracles don't just happen on a Sunday, but I believe that on a Monday, on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday, on a Thursday, on a Friday, every single day of our lives, God can do miracles, signs, and wonders. So clap your hands and believe that God is going to do it in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. We want to seek you, God, today, God. We're going to seek you, God, in unity, God, in unity, God, seeking you, God, for our families, God, asking you, God, to bless, God, to bring unity, God, into those homes, God, into those marriages, God, into those children, God, into those mothers, God, those fathers, God. We raise up, God, as a child of God, God of the most high, God, and we pray, God, and we seek you, God, in unity, God, those mothers, God, embracing our kids, God, protecting, God, from the darkness, God. We raise up, God. We are ready, God, to raise up those armies, God, that you have sent in us, God. I pray, God. We pray, God, in unity, God, together, God. Blessings, God. Angels, God, around each of those houses, God, that we're seeking, God, your presence today, God. With your word said, God, that your, your family, God, all the family, God, is going to be rich, God, by one, one, God, that submit to you, God. And we submit, God, to you in this moment, God. And I know, God, our parents. Parents, God, are going to be saved, God. Our sisters, God. Our brothers, God. Our own children, God, are going to be saved, God. For the faith, God, that we have poured, God, into you, my Lord Jesus, God. And we come, God, in unity, God. This church, God, and all the people, God, that is seeking you, God, through their phone, God, through their TV, God. Whatever they're at, God, we come, God, in unity, God, to go in your throne, God, and ask you, God, for unity, God, anointing, God, blessing. God upon our family God oh God the enemy wants to put fear God but we are God standing God in your word God that nothing could be against us God and you're gonna fight our battles God and we're gonna keep our peace my Lord Jesus God oh Señor venimos delante de ti Señor de tu presencia Señor para agarrar Señor a nuestros hijos Señor delante Señor de ti Padre cubriéndolo Señor cubriendo a nuestros esposos Señor esta Gloria que tú nos has dado, Señor. Permítenos las usar, Señor, para glorificarte, Señor, en nuestros hogares, Señor. Manda tus ángeles, Señor, alrededor, Señor, de nuestra familia, Señor, de nuestros esposos, de nuestros hijos, Señor, de estas, de mi madre, Señor, de nuestros padres, Señor, que no saben, Señor, de tu presencia, Señor, que no saben nada de ti, Señor. Tu, tu palabra dice, Señor, que uno, Señor, que con uno, Señor, que se someta, Señor, toda su familia va a ser bendecida Señor
Señor y yo creo en esa palabra Señor y yo la agarro Señor y la sostenemos Señor de que nuestros hermanos Señor, nuestros, nuestras hermanas Señor, nuestros primos, sobrinos, tías Señor van a recibir Señor tu bendición Señor por el sacrificio Señor que estamos haciendo Padre Celestial. Te damos gracias Señor y te pedimos Señor en este momento Señor que mande Señor a tus ángeles Señor de unción Señor a tus ángeles Señor de unidad Señor en las iglesias Señor en los hogares Señor que no venga Señor el espíritu de miedo Señor pero que venga Señor espíritu de poder Señor que tú lo has mandado desde el cielo Padre Celestial permítenos Señor ser Señor esos, esas guerreras Señor que tú nos has mandado Señor a pelear Señor por nuestras familias Señor a pelear Señor por nuestros hijos Padre Celestial permítenos Señor tener Señor ese, esa armadura Señor esa armadura Señor que tú nos has dado Señor permítenos Señor seguir tu palabra Señor usar Señor esa espada Señor que tú nos has dado Padre Celestial todo Señor para tu gloria Señor para tu honra Señor para que miremos Señor las maravillas que tú vas a hacer Señor con nuestros propios ojos Padre te glorificamos Señor y pedimos Señor unión Señor, unión sobre las familias Señor, unión Señor en tu iglesia Señor porque donde dos o tres están unidos Señor tú estás ahí Padre Celestial oh Señor in the name of Jesus Lord we praise you God we worship you Lord thank you Jesus You are the wonderful counselor. You are the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace, Lord. I speak faith, God. I speak your faith in this place, God. Your word says that it is impossible to please you without faith, God. We've come and we've gathered into this place, Lord, to please you, God, to bring you honor, Lord, to bring you glory, God. Open up our ears to hear your word, God. Open up our ears, God, that we would hear, God, for faith cometh by hearing the word of God. Lord, I pray right now, God, that you would increase our faith, God, as a body, God. Increase our faith, God that we would put our hope in you, God, our trust in you, God. And though we may not see it, God, we believe, Lord, we believe that you are going to heal Sister Rose. God, I pray right now, God, that you would touch her mind, God, that you would pour your faith into her, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Increase our faith, God. Increase our believing, God. Take us to a new level, Lord God. That we would know you more, God. That we would seek you more, oh Lord. We need faith, God. We need faith to build one another up, Lord Jesus. We believe, God, that you are going to do signs, miracles, and wonders because your word says so, God. We believe that you are going to heal the sick. We believe that blind eyes are going to be open, Lord. Let us, Lord God, put our actions, God, to what we believe, Lord God. Faith without works is dead. So God, help us, Lord God. Give us boldness, Lord God, to not just say we believe, God, but let us have boldness, God, to go and lay hands on the sick, to go and reach out to the lost. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray, Lord, that you would unite us, God, in one mind, in one accord, for the mighty revival, for the mighty harvest that is coming our way. In the name of Jesus, help us, Lord God, to lift one another up, God. Help us, God, to bind together, Lord, with like precious faith, God, to not forsake the assembly of the brethren, even the more so in the last days, God. We are going to come, Lord, believing, Lord believing that you are the author and the finisher of our faith, God. You are the beginning and the end. You frame the world. You hold all things in your hands, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, unite us, God. Bind us together, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we worship you, God. We 
I wonder if we would just turn our attention real quick. I want everybody to hear me in the Holy Ghost. We are changing the focus of our prayer to something that is very, very important. The devil tries to tell the people of God that they are in lack and that they are in need and that the finances that are coming in are not enough and that they will live in poverty and they will have nothing. But the devil is a liar. The Lord says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. I shall not be in want. And you are a child of God. Where you're at right now, the amount of money that you are making is not the limit of your faith. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would open up our eyes and our understanding to that which is the hope and our calling, God. And the amount of money that we make and the things that we own do not determine the amount of faith that we have. We pray right now, God, in the name of Jesus, that the finances that we have right now, Lord, we will give you honor and we will give you glory and we will give you praise and we will give you all the worship, God, because we are the head and we are not the tail. We are to be above only and we are not to be beneath. And the devil is a liar. And we pray right now, God, that you would cast down all imagination. Yep and command each and every thought to come into captivity and obedience of Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We do not have to believe that we need more money. We do not have to believe that we are living in lack. Why? Because God has plans for us, plans to prosper us, to provide us with the future, and to give us hope. And God, we are people of your name. We are people, God, of your blood. And we are people of your spirit, God. And you have never seen the right, righteous forsaken nor begging for bread. And we thank you, God, for every bit of crumb, for every bit of finance, for everything that's in the bank account. And we give you praise in advance, God, for all that's coming in. In the name of Jesus, you will supply all the needs of the church. You will supply every single brother, every single sister, every single saint, every single elder, every single child, every single business owner, every single employee, every single minister shall have an abundance in the name of Jesus. If you believe that tonight, where you're at right now, why don't you stand to your feet? Why don't you give God a shout of praise? The devil is a liar. We are not living in lack. God, we are people of faith. You are an abundant God. You never are slack concerning your promises. Tonight, God, we are going to leave this place encouraged. We are believing, God, that you shall rain down manna from above, quail when we need it, God. And you are faithful and just in the name of Jesus. Your word says, God, that all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt listen to the word of the Lord. God, we are people of your word, Lord, and we are believing, God, that not only will we have enough, but we will have room to store in the storehouse in the name of Jesus. Let's clap our hands to the King of Kings. Right now, before we switch, I want you to leave this in your mind. This is in the Holy Ghost. A lot of times, we depict our faith upon the amount of money we make. Okay. But tonight, we leave this place knowing that every single blessing we get, financial, spiritual, and physical, has always came from God. Why? Because he filled us with his spirit, and he washed us with his blood, and he'll never leave us nor forsake us. We don't have to look anywhere else. We just got to look up. We just got to believe God that he is in control. He is the only one sitting on the throne. And besides him, there is no savior. He keeps good books. Come on, let's shout unto God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the income. Thank you for the finances, God. Thank you for blessing us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Right now, I'm going to ask that everyone would lift up their voices for the marriages. 
not just in our church, but the local assembly in the name of Jesus. We're praying right now, dear God, more now than ever before. We're asking for a unification in our homes, God. We're asking for a unification in our marriages, Lord, that we would stand in honor, preferring one another with brotherly love, Jesus, that we would love our wives, God, as you have loved the church, and that women would submit to their husbands, God, as you have ordained in the word of the Lord. Father, let our houses be in order, dear God. Let the marriages of the church be healthy. Let the marriages of the church, God, be prosperous. Let the marriage of the church, God, be in full communication, dear God. Let there be no division, Father. Let there be no confusion, Father. Let there be nothing, God, that would dismantle the marriages in our homes, dear God. We're praying, God, a covering of the angels of the Lord, that it would go around our women, God, in the name of Jesus. We're praying, God, that the men would step up to the plate, God, as priest in our homes, covering our houses with prayer, pleading the blood of Jesus on our doorposts, and believing that the word of the Lord is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We're praying, dear God, that our homes would be in perfect alignment with the Spirit of God, that it would be able to flow into our children, flow into the church, because your church is filled with people and marriages, God. That are strengthening the body of Christ. Lord, I'm praying a successful marriage in every home, dear God, that you would remove every addiction in every home, that you would remove every insight for the things of the world in our homes, dear God, and let there be altars that are built up before you with stone upon stone of memories, God, of everything that you have done, dear God, and that we as the husbands would lay ourselves down as a living sacrifice sacrifice, being an example to our families, dear God, in the name of Jesus. If you got to make us and break us, it's all right, Jesus. We'd rather be broken in the hands of God than be broke by the enemy or the world. So God, I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you would remove all the hardness of our hearts in our homes, dear God. Let every man be pliable. Let every husband be pliable the name of Jesus. Do what you have to do in our lives, dear God. Do what you have to do, dear God, in the priest, in the home. Whatever you do, God, don't let us go from our post. Don't let us go astray, but keep our families alive, dear God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray for the wives of the church that they would be submitted, God, to the husbands, dear Lord, that there would be full communication with wife and husband husband and husband and wife uh, being completely transparent with one another dear God uh, in the name of Jesus uh, we believe uh, that there's power in a marriage uh, we believe that there's power in our marriages God and you're going to use us uh, for the ministry of the gospel Lord have your way in our homes dear God have your way in our homes. Uh, have your way in our marriages. Uh, God, we don't ever want to fall uh, across the way, dear God. We don't want to be tossed uh, to and fro uh, with every wind of doctrine. So God, uh, let us not have itchy ears, uh, but let the priest in the home, dear God, uh, be in perfect alignment with your spirit, dear God. Come on, husbands, let's pray over our wives. In the name of Jesus, devil, you better never come around with your filthy lies. You better never come around, for we plead the blood of Jesus over our wives. We plead the blood of Jesus over our wives right now in the name of Jesus. By the power that's in the name of the Lord and by the authority in the word of God, we come against you, devil, in Jesus' name. We take Take out the sword of the spirit and we cut your head off in the name of Jesus. You are not welcomed in our home. You are not welcome around our children. We shut the mouth of every demonic force that would try to bring depression upon our wives. That would try to bring loneliness upon our wives. Devil, you mess with the wrong family. We are the family of Jesus Christ and we will walk and take our territory and you have no say so in the matter in the name of Jesus we take authority over every demonic force in Jesus name 
Come on, wives. It's time to lift up your voice for your husband. We pray right now over the husbands of Word of Flame Ministries. We ask that you would remove every lustful spirit, that you would remove every attack of the devil in Jesus' name that would try to cause the husbands to go around looking for answers everywhere else. But dear God, we're praying a covering over every man of God in this church in the name of Jesus. Come on, wives, pray for your husbands. Pray for your husbands. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're going to shift our focus now to pray for ministry. We're going to pray for our leaders in the UPCI district. We're going to pray for our pastor and our first lady and the pastors that are in this district and in this region. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus over our general superintendent of UPCI, Brother Bernard. I pray over our district superintendent, Brother Hodges, over our presbyter, Brother Butler, and over our UPCI district board leaders and generals that are faithful servants of the kingdom of God in this, in this gospel. I pray a covering to come upon them in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you would continue to lead, direct, and guide every step that they take. Let every decision that is made, Lord God, be made with you first, Lord God. I pray that you would give them wisdom, Lord, in this unprecedented time that we are living in. I pray that you would give them an unprecedented strategy, oh God, on how to continue to take the church forward in Jesus' name. We know that it's been said that we're going to live a new normal, but we're not going to live a new normal that's going to cause us to separate ourselves from you, oh God. But I pray that you would give our leaders, Lord God, the wisdom that they need and the strategy and understanding on how to continue to reap in this harvest oh God on how to continue to draw men closer to you I pray oh God that you father would direct them let your spirit continue to lead and guide them cover our pastor and our first lady God for this church I pray that you would open the heavens of blessings upon their lives of strength and of health upon their lives oh God and that you would continue to order their footsteps in your word Lord that you would continue to give them your strategy from from heaven for this congregation God we know that the pressure of this world is upon their shoulders God but I pray that they could cast their cares upon you you said come unto me all who are heavy laden and weary and I will give you rest our man and woman of God need rest Lord God rest in you they, they do the day in and day out work for the kingdom and I pray God that you in return would give them that peace of mind that you are with them that you have never left them nor forsaken them I pray bless their coming in and bless their going out oh God let your protection be encamped around them as they travel travel and as they minister this gospel and this word come on can we pray for our pastor and first lady they pray for you countless hours on their hands and knees and right now we can take a moment to lift them up in prayer I pray a peace to come upon our first lady right now you know the bereavement that her and her family is going through but I know that you are the peace speaker Lord God and I pray right now peace to be spoken in her home in Jesus mighty name and now I pray right now, God, for our missionaries. I pray over every city, every country, God, within these continents of Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia, North and South America, and Antarctica, Lord God, every island, Lord God, that covers this globe. I pray for every missionary that has been given an assignment, Lord God, in one of those areas, Father, in those cities and in those, and in those countries. I pray that you, Father, would give them what was ready for harvest, but the giants discouraged the people from taking dominion and taking hold of what you've already already promised them. God, you have promised these missionaries, these pastors, these leaders, these teachers, these evangelists, ministers of your gospel, that you would be with them and you will be with us. So who cares about the giants of the land? God, you have equipped us with a slingshot and a rock. You have equipped us with your spirit, with the word of God. The soil is ready and I pray every missionary will reap the harvest of their country, of their city, of their region in the mighty name of Jesus. As we continue to pray, it is our custom here at Word of Flame that we lift up the request unto publicly that come in on Facebook and on YouTube. We lift them up and we raise them unto our Heavenly Father, believing that the Lord will answer. I would that you would bind together with me right now in your living room. Those of you that are here, let's bind together in faith for our brethren. I mean, let's really lift these up 
as if they were our own, whether they're blood related or they are just spiritually blood related. Let's lift them up in faith right now and let's believe that the Lord is going to bring forth the answer. Lord, we pray, God, upon the request of Sister Carmen Castillo that you bring deliverance in the life of Andrew in the name of Jesus and you bring salvation to his mind and to his heart, that, that you would break the shackles of sin and, and, God, that you would allow him to become the predestined man of God that you have for his life. Uh, we pray, Lord, for Brother Israel Gonzalez, oh, God. He is your child. He is your son. And you are able to minister to his body. You're able to minister to his mind. You're able to minister to his life. God, it is not beyond you to lift him up out of that hospital bed, out of that wheelchair, and that he would give you utmost glory and honor in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, for Brother Luis Ballesteros uh, and his family in the name of Jesus uh, that you would bring healing upon Sister Hilda's body, that you would take away, God, any infection, that you would take away any type of bacteria in the name of Jesus, uh, and that you would completely heal Sister Hilda in Jesus' name. I pray for Cindy, who has requested healing from cancer. You are the God that heals everything, Lord. It does not matter if it is a common cold, COVID, or cancer. You are able to heal in Jesus' name. If you're able to raise the dead, open up the blind eyes, make the lame walk, and take away the leprosy of the day of old, then you can heal cancer today, today, today by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ. We pray for Martha Gonzalez, oh Lord, that has been attacked with COVID-19. Lord, heal Martha in Jesus' name. Heal Martha tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for Mariah Gomez, Lord, that she is asking for her little sister baby Sophia. You're able to heal her, God. You're able to take away, Lord, any sickness upon that child. Your word says that if we believe and ask in your name, that you would respond. So we plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon this baby. In Jesus' name, we pray for Anna Corona, that you would bring salvation upon her grandchildren, Lord. If you can talk to the man at the bar store and talk to the individual who is sitting at the connection house, as well as talk to somebody tonight who is watching on Facebook, then surely you can send a preacher. You can send a teacher you can send a witness uh, yeah, to, to this grandmother's children Lord and bring salvation upon them we pray Lord God upon the request of sister Vanessa Gomez for Raymond and Esther Delgado that you would bring healing upon their bodies oh Lord you are the mighty physician I believe, I believe that you can. I believe that you will. Oh, Lord, for Brother Raymond Aguilar, who has lifted up Adriana and Jessica and Luanzo for healing from COVID-19. I believe once again that you are the mighty physician, Jesus. You have the vaccine already, and it is your blood, your blood that covers from east to west, north to south. And we plead the blood of Jesus upon on these tonight in the name of Jesus healing for Maria Chavez healing for Mohammed Hashmi and her mom from cancer and from schizophrenia Lord you're able to heal that mind heal that mind heal that mind oh Lord if we would put on the mind of Christ so we play pre pray in the name of Jesus that correct the mind, the attacks upon the mind of your people, O Lord, that the enemy would not attack a mind that has been washed under the blood of Jesus Christ. We rebuke that back door that he tries to creep in. We rebuke that side gate that he tries to jump over. In the name of Jesus, these are God's people. These are blood-washed people, and you cannot have them, enemy. Get out of their minds. Get out of their minds. Get out of their minds in Jesus' name. We pray, oh Lord, amen, for healing and strength upon Sister Carmen Castillo's mom. You are able, oh Lord, to bring up that woman. You're able to bring her to a place of salvation. You're able to strengthen her body and heal her, not 95%, God, but 100% percent and it would be known that it was you it was you that did it wasn't a doctor wasn't a medicine wasn't a pill it was Jesus that did it oh. Oh. 
We pray, oh Lord, with Brother Joe Grimaldo. We bind together with Pastor Joe Grimaldo and for his children. That you would save his children, oh Lord. That you would minister to all of his children and bring them to a place of repentance and consecration upon Christian Grimaldo, oh Lord. That he would follow his calling and that he would answer, oh Lord, the call that you have upon his life. You have a purpose for him upon Maggie Rodriguez. You got a purpose for her. And you're able to call these prodigals home, oh Lord. Send another preacher to them, Jesus. Send another witness to them, God. Have mercy, thou son of David. Have mercy and send someone to them to speak to their heart, to the mind and their soul, Lord. We pray with Sister Hilda that you would bring salvation and deliverance to her home. You are able, oh Lord, to save those grandchildren. You're able to save her daughters and her son. In the name of Jesus, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible for you. For Sister Cheryl, God, she is pleading the blood of Jesus over her neighbors and her neighborhood, oh Lord. Lord, use her as a witness, as a testimony. You said that you use a simple things to confound the wise. You are able, Lord, to use a simple testimony of a sister who you have saved to bring salvation and preach the gospel, Lord, into communities, into the highways and byways. In the name of Jesus, we bind together tonight for the Zamora family, oh Lord. You're able to heal Brother Rudy Zamora's mother, Maria, from, from cancer in the name of Jesus. You're able to step in that bond. Body. Take the cancer out with one grasp of your hand, with one commandment of your word, with one whisper of your voice, and rebuke cancer out of the life of these mothers. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, for my brother Paul Garcia, that you would enter into his life, that you would continue to speak to him in dreams, continue to speak to him while he's driving by the way, that you, Lord, would continue to shake him and convict his heart to a place of complete, complete, complete consecration and commitment to you, Jesus. I pray, Lord, for the for, for our, my family that has just lost our grandfather, Lord. Let it be a testimony. Let it be a testimony. Let it be lifted up as a memorial unto you that you save, that you restore, that you, God, put back what the canker worm eats over years of time. You put it back in a moment. In an instant, oh God, let it be used for your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the Rios family that you would bring healing upon them as they've been plagued with this epidemic of COVID and coronavirus, oh Lord. God, heal that entire family in the name of Jesus. For Sister Garza, oh Lord, her family and her work, that you, oh Lord, would do the work, do the miracle. There is nothing, nothing that is impossible for you, Lord. We pray. Be because we believe, we pray, because we believe in you that you are able to do so. Break every chain, break every wall of opposition, bring down, oh Lord, every invisible force that tries to withhold, confine your, your power. And your spirit, oh Lord, I pray for every prodigal, every prodigal, Lord, of Word of Flame Ministries from 1997 to now that you would bring the prodigals home. I pray for the prodigals on the east. I pray for the prodigals on the west. I pray for the prodigals to the north. I pray for the prodigals to the south. I pray for those who feel like they're disconnected, lost, and on the verge of suicide. I pray for those who are bound by alcoholism and drugs and pornography and guilt and shame and insecurities. Lord, let a voice go out. Come home, prodigal. Come back to the Father's house who still loves you. I don't care if they're in prison, God. Send a voice to the prison. I don't care if they're in jail, Lord. Send a voice to the jail. But bring the prodigals home. Bring them out of false doctrine in the name of Jesus. Bring them out of false doctrine, oh Lord, and remind them of the truth of your word.
Oh, church, there's a flow that's happening. I believe there's a flow that's happening. I believe there's a flow. That, that flow is breaking chains. That's bringing down walls and opposition. Let it flow out of you. There's a flow of an intercessor. That's what it is. There's a flow of an intercessor in the house. Yes, yes, yes. For your family, for your loved ones, for your marriage, for yourself. I would that you would lift your tongue up in another language, in a heavenly language. Lift up your tongue in a heavenly language and just let it flow. Let the Spirit make intercession for you. Let the Holy Ghost right there in your home. Let the Holy Ghost make intercession for you. Pray at your home. Go ahead. Pray aloud. Pray aloud. Pray aloud. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost is moving. Jesus is moving. Come on, Mama. Come on, Daddy. How important is it to you? It's the end time. It's the last days. This is the last hour. That's it, man of God, uh, pray for your ministry. Uh, that's it, woman of God, uh, pray for your ministry. Uh, pray for these kids. Pray for these teens. Uh, pray for the Spanish. Uh, pray for the outreach. Uh, pray for the Sunday school. Pray for our marriages. Pray for our pastor. We're lifting up the light, Jesus. We're burning the light, Jesus. We're lifting up the candle, O oh Lord. We're a light that is set up on a hill that will not be hid. We're lifting up the hospital, Lord. Bring them in. Bring them in. We pray for our community. We pray for La Habra Heights. We pray for Whittier. We pray for Whittier. We pray for South Whittier. We pray for East Whittier. We pray for Uptown Whittier. Jesus, thou son of David. We pray for LA County in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Sarabariki ala la 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 basaya save our land, Jesus save our land. Oh, yada basiki yada basada. Oh, we bind together with Sister Lu Susan Ledesma, Lord, for favor over her house insurance in the name of Jesus. God, you are able to move mountains and speak sunshines of favor upon the Ledesma family and the situation that they are going through, oh Lord. We pray, Lord, for the Wyman family, comfort uh, for their loss and traveling mercies upon their family. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, you are the mighty orchestrator and you're able to compose events for your glory. Hallelujah. We pray because we believe. We simply pray because we simply believe. I know that you can. I know that you can. I know that you can. I know that you want to, Jesus. So we believe. We believe. We believe. I believe you for the little. I believe you for the great. I believe you for the small. I believe you for the large. I believe you for the possible. And I believe you for the impossible. I believe you, Jesus. I believe you for the people. I believe you for the saints. I believe you for the sinners. I believe you for the lost. I believe we stand in the gap with the bridge of faith. I believe in a world that has lost its trust, in a world that has lost its faith. We believe in you, Jesus. We believe. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory, God. We are not ashamed to give you glory that you received the baptism of the Holy Ghost last night with the evidence of speaking in tongues for the first time. We give you a praise. We give you a shout. We give you recognition. We acknowledge that you are faithful in doing so. Thank you, Jesus, that you still pour out of your spirit. We give you a praise, Jesus, uh, on behalf of Peter McGonny and his family that Cindy has been completely healed uh, from Corona and from COVID-19. Uh, we give you a praise uh, for uh, healing Cindy in the name of Jesus. You are the God. You are the physician. You are the almighty. We give you a praise, oh Lord, for Sister Elizabeth Orozco who gets to see her grandbaby after years of not being able to, oh Lord. You open up the doors. You make the way. You clear the road and the obstacles. It is you and only you. We give you a praise. We give you a praise. We praise you on behalf of Raymond Aguilar whose father's test came back as as good and not as negative oh lord oh lord we're not worried about it because you're good because you're faithful and we are careful to give you the acknowledgement it was you that gave a positive report we believe the report of heaven Thank you, Jesus. We give you a praise on behalf of Anna Corona. Amen. For her grandson, uh, Kaylee, who came back with a negative test for COVID-19. Oh, Lord, you're in control. You take care of these babies, oh, God. You take care of our children. We give you a praise and a thanks, oh, God. You're in control. Now, church, I want you to stand to your feet, those of you who are here and those of you who are at home. I want you to give the Lord a praise tonight. I want you to give God a praise tonight that the church doors are open. I said that the church doors are open. That we can give God. Yes, yes, somebody run. Somebody shout. Somebody jump. Because God is in control. God is in control. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to lift up one more prayer request, and I saved this one for the end because by the next two weeks, I'm going to come back with a victory report. So I'm already speaking it into existence. So I'm giving you just the backstory so I can get the forward story of the victory report. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Another victory report. Praise the Lord. The Grimaldo family received their miracle. Come on, somebody. Praise God. Praise God. The Bethel Grimaldo family, Sister Crystal Grimaldo, they received their victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sister Yenny is claiming her healing from sciatic nerve. Woo, come on. I got a report. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's already gone. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. Come on. Somebody jump. Somebody jump. Sister Anayi is giving God glory from being uh, from a sickness in her body that she's been healed tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. See, see, it still works, people. It still works. If you're at home uh, and you start feeling a tingling in your body uh, or a sensation running down your back, uh, that's the healing power of Jesus Christ. Uh, he still heals. Uh, he still heals uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. So my last prayer request, which is turning into a victory report in two weeks or less, uh, is that we are going to pray for Sister Rose Reyes. Uh, her body has been plagued with the disease of cancer, but we know that God is able to heal cancer. I said, we know, we know, we know that God is able to heal cancer. And so I want you to stretch your hands right now to right there where she sits, towards the back, right there where Brother Raul's at. She usually sits right there. Brother Oscar, I want you to be right there. Amen. I need a sister to stand in her stead. Amen. A sister, I want you to go over there. Thank you, Sister Crystal. Ladies, if you feel it's appropriate, go lay hands on Sister Crystal as if it was Sister Rose. And we're claiming healing. You see, you see, Sister Crystal templifies a vessel that has no cancer. But we're claiming the same 
healing the same cleanliness that is on Sister Crystal would transpire right now in the name of Jesus upon Sister Rose Reyes. Right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray the blood of Jesus Christ upon Sister Rose Reyes. Remove every cancer cell, every cancerous tissue, every cancerous fiber. Take it out of her body immediately by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ and the authority of the Word of God. You are able, God, healing, healing, healing. Healing upon Sister Rose Reyes. And we're careful to give you the glory, the thanks. Just like that, devil. Just like that, enemy. Just like that, infirmity. It is done. It is done. It is done by the blood of Jesus Christ. Sister Crystal, get jump and give God a shout like if you just received a healing. In the name of, yes, thank you, Jesus. I feel victory. I feel victory. I feel a wave, a flow, a mighty wind. I feel a wind in this place. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Sister Joanna Garcia right here is giving God the glory because she says that she feels healing in her body for, from her blood cells. And God has aligned her back in the name of Jesus. Let's give God praise for that right now. Yes, 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 yes. There is a flow. There is a flow. I see a crimson stream of blood and it flows from Calvary. Thank you, Jesus. I want us all to give the Lord some exuberant praise right now. Just for everything, 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 God. We lift you up. We worship you. We praise you. You're good. You're faithful. You're awesome. My feet will not be restricted. My hands will not be tied up. My mouth will not keep shut. You are good. You are faithful, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah be to the name and the power of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We want you to continue to send in your prayer requests and send in your victory reports. It doesn't matter if it's small. It doesn't matter if it's minute. We want to rejoice. We want to give God credit. We want to give God credit. And of course, if it's something big, well, praise God. We want to give God credit and glory for that as well. But the Lord is faithful. Thank you for praying with us. And we encourage you, pray.